It's one of America's biggest news networks, but that hasn't stopped Fox News' Twitter account being hacked. Amongst the fake news tweeted was the assassination of the U.S. president. The fake postings were up on the news station's site for the best part of the morning. Fox News has since regained control of the profile, and a group calling themselves the Script Kitties have claimed responsibility. But they weren't the only ones being hacked. Apple was targeted by hacker group Anonymous. The group posted 26 usernames and passwords for an Apple server along with the link on Twitter. Samsung has dropped a patent lawsuit against Apple, but the war is far from over. Samsung had claimed Apple copied many of their innovations, something Apple strongly denied. But this isn't the end of the court battle between the two. There are still eight different legal battles going on in six different countries. Meanwhile, Samsung should be celebrating. They've sold three million of their Galaxy S2 phones in just 55 days. Not too shabby. Ireland's public service is moving along with the times. Have a look at their plans for new technology. The Department of Social Protection wants to have facial recognition technology on new public service cards by the end of the year. And they are currently looking for tenders to supply the software. The project is part of the department's participation in a new program known as SAFE. Get ready for some new Google Plus features, because Google is. The search giant has temporarily suspended Google Real Time. The Google Real Time Twitter said it was down because they were exploring how to incorporate Google Plus into this functionality. It's not clear how long Google Real Time will be down for. We're waiting for the next tweet. And finally, this is the future of flagging down taxis. An app has just been launched that automatically searches for the nearest taxi and sends it to wherever it's needed. You can even pay the fare using the application. To get a taxi, you just have to enter your destination and you'll be given a range of quotes along with estimated waiting times. The app is currently only available in London, but we could see it being to good, put to good use here too. And that's you up to date with everything that's buzzing online today. Back over to you, Caroline. Thank